What's up, everybody? It's Sensei322 of BustingPacks.com coming to you with a box of 2010 Gridiron Gear Football from Panini. I've uh, been really excited about busting this box, especially because um, some of you that follow my blog, uh, BustingPacks.com, may have seen the Gridiron Gems autographs. Um, I've never pulled one of those. I know in the last couple of years they've had those where it's got a piece of jersey swatch that you pull out and you can see the whole swatch. Uh, and last year I did buy some gridiron gears and I did not pull any of those uh, autograph cards. I did try to trade for a couple. I did try to trade for a no Sean Marino and, uh, and a Matt Stafford at some point. Uh, but the trades never worked out and so... I'm left with none, so I'd be very excited to pull one of those. Uh, Tim Tebow would be nice. Uh, I wouldn't say no to a Sam Bradford or a Colt McCoy, and I just know that's what's waiting for me somewhere, so I tell myself that every time. Hoping for Big Mojo. There are 18 packs in a hobby box of this product. I don't recall if they're going to have a uh, retail version, but I know Gridiron Gear historically has had a retail variant. Hobby is all that I'm really interested in. So here we go, 18 packs. Let's see if any are thicker than others. Nah, it looks like they might be uh, full of decoys. So good, prevents somewhat pack searching. So here we go. Pack number one, Vernon Davis back for second. I thought that was a historic Jerry Rice card. Let's see, here's a no Sean Marino. So let's see, what do we think about this base card? Here's No Sean. Here's Devin Hester. Definitely action shots. Definitely a step up in terms of photography for Panini uh, from where they were in the um, last couple of products. They've had some great looking cards, but some weak photography. Here it looks like they got some real nice action shots. You got Vernon Davis cutting there. Sean Green searching for a hole. You know, uh, to me, I know these these base cards probably appeal more to the younger crowd. I like it a lot more simplistic. I'm not a fan of so much going on, colors in the corners and the name over here and the all this different stuff. It's definitely a nicer base card for people who aren't big fans of foil. You won't find much foil on these unless you've got a, a insert like... Uh, this one I just pulled about of Antonio Gates has a little foil in the bottom left, numbered to 250. So it's their X from, I think they got their X's and O's parallel. So more base, base, base. Here's a Matthew Stafford X, which should be numbered out of 250, and it is. And a Taylor Mays rookie card. So I actually like the look of the rookie cards a little bit more. You'll notice it doesn't have the team name on the side. The Gridiron Gears logo is uh, moved back to the top right corner where there already is a design, so I like that a little bit better. 18 packs, and you're supposed to get four hits in each box, so I'm guessing that's usually one, uh, one nice autograph, uh, one other probably sticker autograph, and maybe two jersey cards. We'll see. I, I think i got something in here. I think I've got some hit. Oh, whoa, ho, ho, holy cow, I just flipped it over. I'm liking this card. Holy cow. Mike Kafka, prime, prime, autograph, rookie, gridiron, gems. Forget that piece of jersey. And look, it's got this card stuck to the back. Oh, my gosh, 11 out of 15. Sick, sick card. That's a... Four colors. You might not be able to see it, but there's black, dark green, gray, and white. Piece of the football. And his autograph. And might have a little bit of adhesive residue here from something. But aside from that, this is pretty pristine. For a thick card, you see how thick that is? The corners are mint. Beautiful, beautiful card of a guy who a lot of people think has the potential to uh, someday be the franchise quarterback of a team and before Mike Vick uh, just took off like crazy and just became crazy good this year uh, it was expected that Kevin Cobb or I'm sorry that Mike Kafka might end up uh, taking over there so 
here's another hit. This is going to be a Chicago Bear. Let's see what it's numbered to. Oh, whoa. Ah, ah, I messed it up. Numbered out of 100, Matt Forte, Game Breakers, Dual Jersey Swatch. Now, I do like this. I like these. You know, I, I might have knocked the base cards a little bit, but I really like this. I'm not a fan of single color jersey cards, dual, triple, whatever. I'm not a fan of jersey cards. Uh, this one is simple. Jersey swatch is right there on the right-hand side, but you've got some foil on the left. I think it's a simple design, simple card, decent photography, and um, I'm guessing they leave the bottom part open, so there's an autograph variant probably out there that you can get that's got his autograph, but a nice card. I like the foiling on the left-hand side, and I think the foil is a little bit more special because it's not used in every single base card. All right, here we've got... Steven Smith, Burleson, Jacobs, Kyle Orton, who's having a Pro Bowl year, despite the fact that the team is playing horrendously. There's Steve Smith, uh, X out of 250. Trent Williams, Braylon Edwards, Vince Young, man. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm wishing, wishing you the best. I'm rooting for you, Vince, but got to give us something to work with. I'm not making it easy to be a fan. Okay. Here's either I'm flipping the packs upside down or something's going on. Here's Drew Brees, Demarcus Ware, Percy Harvin, Michael Turner. Here's the Game Breakers of Peyton Manning in a cool old school uniform. Let's see if you can see that gold there. So that's a neat card. That would be a nice card to pull a jersey out of. That's a silver foil, no serial number, number on it. There's Jeremy Horn, rookie card. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packs left. Holy cow. So we've gone through. There's Jason Witten. TJ Ward, rookie. All right. Next up is going to be a uh, what? Sam Bradford autograph. Okay. That's the next hit. I'm guessing we get one more autograph out of this box. Uh, this is going to be another decoy. I think we got another Game Breakers coming. Okay, Chad Henney, Larry Fitz, Clay Matthews, another exact same Peyton Manning Game Breakers. We'll put that in the Peyton Manning Game Breakers stash. Stack. Uh, honestly, I've got a, one of these packs. I'm just going to figure it out where it's not upside down. Morgan Burnett, a rookie X card. Followed by Jerry Hughes, rookie, no X. Seeing in this pack, they were all right set up. Here's a Matt Forte. I already pulled a Matt Forte. The Matt Forte I pulled was out of 100. This one's out of 250. Ha! Huh. So now I've got collation issues at Panini. Where I got two Matt Fortes. If this were a group break, the Bears would be happy. Dual jersey and a single jersey. So now we see. I guess they just wanted us to take a good look at examples. This is what the Game Breakers out of 250 looks like. And this is what the Game Breakers out of 100 looks like. Increase the swatch by about 15%. Anthony Dixon, rookie. I'm not telling too many people, except for y'all that are watching this video, but I think Anthony Dixon, if the 49ers can put together a couple more offensive runs, Anthony Dixon has a chance to be really good. All right, we got a redemption here. So one of the cards, uh, the next goal uh, autograph is going to be a redemption. We'll take a second to, let's see, let's take a look at that. Signatures gold out of 239. Hopefully gold is like really, really good in, in gridiron gear. Okay. NFL gridiron signatures. Or signatures gold. Let's just look up 239. I doubt they all go to 239. Sean Lee. Sean Lee. So he's a Dallas Cowboy. Had an interception the other day. That's a Sean Lee redemption. And we've still got three, six, seven packs to go. So what I may do, I'm not expecting any additional hits here.
but there's always a chance to pull a nice insert or something else. See, there's a new insert card, a Sean Green NFL Nation card. Let's see, maybe they spike this with a fifth hit. Panini's been known to do that this year. I'll skip through the base really quick. Nothing here. The same exact Sean Green NFL Nation card. It's like we're playing memory. You remember that game memory? Kind of feel like that's what we're doing here. Match the Matt Forte with the Matt Forte. The Sean Green with the Sean Green. There's Brett Favre and his Vikings Uni. There's a rookie. Rookie orientation of Montario Hardesty. Similar to, I guess, the Rookies and Stars parallel. But they have freshman orientation. Nice design to that card right there. Sean Lee. Guy that I pulled his auto. There's his X card. Dominique Curry for the Rams. Three packs left. Not much mystery. Not much excitement unless... Oh, wait. Wait. Give me some excitement. I think they threw a fifth hit in here. I think they may have thrown a fifth hit. And it is of CJ Spiller. Be something sexy. Be, some, be a low serial number. Low serial number. Oh, it is. Numbered 17 out of 50, Panini, you sneaky, sneaky guys. Spike in the box with an extra hit. Let's see what it is. Let's see. Please be an auto. Oh, it's not an auto, but it's still beautiful. Prime patch, two-color patch with some stitching here. You can see uh, darker blue up at the top, lighter blue at the bottom with some stitching. Prime football, CJ Spiller, who... Uh, Barring injuries, I think all the top running backs of this year's rookie class have had injury trouble. Uh, but he's got potential to be really special. So 17 out of 50. They made up for the two uh, Matt Fortes by hooking me up with an extra CJ Spiller, which I'm excited about. And let's see. Let's see if they spiked it with an extra one. There's a Morgan Burnett rookie for the Packers. Wes Welker X card. Last pack. We're going on 12 minutes in this video. Last pack. Is it a sixth hit? Is it? No, it's a decoy. And a, a Golden Tate Rookie Orientation card. Those are numbered out of 250. Nice card. So uh, here's Kevin Cobb. Overall, we'll do a quick recap of the hits. And you can see larger resolution scans of these hits in... Uh, well, below this video on the website. If you're watching this on YouTube, I encourage you to go to my website www.bustingpacks.com click on the contest page the top right hand uh, top right side of the page where you can see how you could win these cards and more and uh, enter for your chance to win usually all it takes is writing in some comments and tell me what you think of these products um, also go ahead and check out the review on the page and the whole write up with the scan so thank you so much for coming to bustingpacks.com and keep coming back for more Football car news, reviews, previews, original articles, yada, yada, yada. Thanks so much for your support.